Okay, let's go live. This is James speaking, trainingsites.io. This is one of the most important videos that I think I will do in 2025 because it really starts to show the big changes that are happening for anyone who's teaching online, creating how-to material, and if you need videos in uh, or for help, uh, you need videos to be able to teach what it is that you want to do. Now, uh, I, I things are happening so quickly here. I get really excited about it because it opens up a brand new world, not only for you, but for everyone. And there's a golden lining in that, uh, at which I get to in a couple other videos. But for now, what I want to do is I want to show you how we can take a simple text prompt that we even didn't come up with and be able to create a video that we can use in our training materials or content that we create that is for teaching something. Now, I'm not talking about creating a big movie and long, you know, entertainment style videos. I'm talking about how can we create something that is a teachable moment that helps us teach someone how to do something. And uh, just to put this in perspective on how exciting this is and why you need to learn it right now, and if you don't, you're going to be in big trouble, is because only six weeks ago, I started to talk about this. And these are all tools from Google. Uh, and I think they call it deepmind.google. I'll go to the link here. But uh, at the end of last year, and then they became a little more public, at least I got to learn about them uh, in the 1st of January, the last week of December, they have all these really, really cool tools for doing visual images, all AI tools that are visual images. And some of the ones that they looked at, uh, I'll just open one up. The one that was most exciting to me and I did a video on it. I'll put the links below if you haven't seen them already. And by the way, trainingsites.io forward slash join that's over there. Please go join the community. Every video that I've done, all my courses, prompt library, everything is there. And it's free for you to join uh, in my personally branded campus, which is another whole kind of approach to this. But VO was exciting because Google's VO 2.0 was their text to video AI. And this was only available uh, experimental, and that's one of the ones I did in those videos at the beginning of January. So here's the cool part. This just became available six weeks after I find out, find out about it. Six uh, weeks after, it's now available in a public tool. It's not experimental anymore. It's something that you can actually go and start looking at it right away. And let me just pull up a screen here. Just want to get to the first piece here. This one is called, let me just go to the homepage here just so you can see where it is. This one is called freepick.com and Freepick just announced two days ago that VO2 from Google that used to be experimental is now available in this tool for you and me to use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a prompt. We're gonna create a video just with the prompt and then I'm gonna show you some use cases on how you can use it if you're teaching anything where you have teachable moments and you want to create videos. So freepick.com is the tool that we're going to use. The other thing that I'm going to do is I do have some text descriptions that I've already generated. I'll show you how I do that in another video, but we've got the text that we have as the descriptive prompt. We're going to give it to uh, freepick and it's going to create the video for us. So I logged in and I actually, when I first started this, uh, I think you had a free account. You could do the VO2. Right now, I upgraded. I'll just show you this one here so that you have it. I upgraded to, it was monthly, it was $12 Canadian a month. So I think it's probably $10 uh, US. And that allows me to create seven videos using VO2, um, that, uh, um, that engine for from Google that's in here. We get seven videos a day. And the thing is, and we're gonna learn about this in a second, you may be wondering, well, you create videos, but what can I do with them? And I'm going to be upfront with you. These are look very, very realistic, and they don't have to be realistic if you don't want. Uh, if you take a look here on the screen, you're going to see the examples from the experimental version. We've got a dachshund dog, you know, swimming in a pool with goggles on in the right hand side. There, we've got the, you know, the scientist with the hazmat suit in the microscope. But there's also animations that can be graded as well. It's just about how we prompt it, right, is the type of video that it creates. But, you know, these are the things that we're going to be able to create. We need some prompts to do it. And in this case for the demo, FreePick only allows five-second videos. That's what we're limited to is five-second videos. 
So I'm going to do that now, and I'll also take a look at why you don't have to worry if it's only five seconds, because there's still lots that you can do with it. So here's what's going to happen. I'm in uh, free pick right now. I logged in. I have that free monthly, uh, a paid monthly account for $12 Canadian. And in free pick, you can see in the explore one at the start here, we got explore. I have pick it here and I've gone to the menu. You can see on the left hand side menu, I've got AI image generator, AI video generator, upscale, retouch, reimagine, background remover, image editor. They've got all of these tools here. So it's not just the Google VO video, AI video from text. It's all of these tools are here in free pick. What I want to do today is I'm going to go to create. I'm going to hit create and I'm not going to create an image on the left. I want to create a video. So I want to create a video and they have an engine here called Kling 1.6 standard. That's kind of the one that they have as the default one. What I want to do is I want to click the custom and when I click custom, you're going to see that there's some featured modes that become available. And the one that's the new one here is the Google VO2. It's the same scientist with the yellow hazmat suit. That's the one on. So I'm just going to go and click it. And we now have the one that I did previously, which I'll talk to in a second. But the interface here allows us to do um, Google VO2, make sure it's the engine, but it's describe your video. This is where we're going to put the prompt that we use. And it's going to look at that. I, Word's not prompt, it's a text description that it's going to use to create the video. We're going to put that in. Now, I could just type something here, like uh, make a, you know, a professional speaker, you know, using hand gestures. And they have a button here that says enhance prompt with AI. I personally don't use these. I go and create the description that I want using ChatGPT or Claude or any of the other tools. So in my case, I have one that I did. And again, I'll include those in trainingsites.io forward slash join. I'll put all the prompts and everything that I use there as, as well. And the link will be below. And then if you look a little bit closer, the parts that are that I can look at here, uh, let me just make that smaller again. We can pick whether it's a horizontal landscape or vertical portrait. And, and right now, again, we're limited to five seconds. And even though that's a small amount, you have to remember that this wasn't public six weeks ago. So five seconds might be now. If it looks 30 days, 60 days, 90 days from now, I would suspect that we're going to be at a minute or two minutes or five minutes as a length of video. So just keep your ear to the ground. Keep your eyes open. This is what's happening. And if you're creating how-to or teachable content, this is something you're going to have to do. So what did I do from here? Well, the first thing I did is I created those prompts, right? And I'm going to give you an example of one. We're going to try two. Again, I've only used this once. I've only used this particular version once. But what I did is I took a look and I said, well, here's one uh, uh, five second makeup application technique video. And I'm just going to copy it. And we'll take a look and read it. And I'm just going to copy it here. So just so that you see what it says, it has a uh, Split screen close up of a woman's face, professional lighting, neutral background, focus on right eye uh, area of both sides, left side labeled incorrect, show harsh lines of unblended eyeshadows being applied in a single swipe, creating a visible streak of medium brown shimmer eyeshadow, right and correct. So, this is basically giving uh, a text description of what we want the video to do, and it's limited to five seconds. And it gives a couple ideas here when I created this uh, description focused on a single specific technique, shows immediate visual contrast, uh, and it keeps focus. So that's just an example uh, of one that's done. So let's go take a look at my tool here, create a video, and I'm going to put the prompt here and make sure that it's there. We got the spaces, everything there. And then I'm just going to go below and I'm going to click generate. Now, when I click generate, just be aware, um, I get Right now, I'm limited to five seconds when I'm doing this, and I also have seven a month for the basic paid plan that I have. I've done one already, so this is going to be a new one. And the length of time it takes, uh, I have no guarantee that it's going to be the 2.5 minutes that they're saying to generate this because of how busy or not busy they are. But I've got my prompt in there. I'm ready to go, so let's hit generate. There we go. It says estimated time, 2.5 minutes. So here's the thing I want to talk about while that's generating in the background is a lot of times when we're creating uh, how-to material, 
a lot of times you think, oh my God, I've got to create, you know, a 20 minute video or a 30 minute video or seven minute video, that kind of thing. In fact, you don't have to. And this is what is making this so exciting for everyone is that if you can identify teachable moments or parts of a process or steps that you can go through that is uh, required to teach people a skill on how to do something, if you can break down those teachable moments, you can now create a video. You don't need a big set. You don't need a whole bunch of equipment. We've got like life, uh, lifelike video that is now available for us to use in our courses and just on YouTube. So, um, you know, we've got one that we're generating here. I'm just going to show you an example of another one that I did. If someone, for example, was a home decorator and they were trying to teach people about a couple things that are required when you're fixing up a room. So here's an example of what I did on this one. Let me just go and we'll hopefully I can get this one a little bit bigger for you. So there's the one that I did, but I did one for an example for decorating, just so you see how this one works. I said, let's do heading two there. I said, um, so I said, here's the, sh I, I did one, what was showing proper artwork height placement. So here's one where I created a complete description of what I needed to do with all the camera angles, the left and the right, the comparison. Hopefully this one's actually going to put text directly onto our video, why it works. And then it had uh, an alternative one if you need a less number, uh, less characters in text. Okay. And then here's another one. I, uh, idea for wall spacing for a gallery of images. It did another one. Okay. And then here's another one that was all about uh, proper artwork lighting. So you've got it here where we've got three videos that we could use that could be generated. Yes, they're five seconds, but you have text that you can go with this. You have audio that you can do, but we have a visual demonstration of a teachable moment. And you're going to see if this is actually finished now, why this is especially important when we have a tool like the free pick one or this access to VO2, the new uh, text to video AI tool from Google. So let me just open this up, see what we've got here. Oh my God, let's take a look. Pretty flippy. Uh, hopefully I can zoom in a little bit here. Okay, so a couple things just to notice. We've got a five second video and I'm holding my mouse over it. A couple things to notice. It's got incorrect and it got a little bit of flubby here with correct. And it's showing two different examples. Are they the perfect ones? No, maybe I have to play around with the prompt. But if I open this up and play it, I now have an example where we've got a lifelike skin, a lifelike person actually going and showing how to put makeup on. So that was the prompt that we use, a split screen close up of a woman's face. Copied, that's the one that we did. So obviously if I used the prompt a little bit different, we could have done that. Maybe it was a better example. Is the text perfect? No, but it's just an idea of what we can end up doing. And again, this is happening quickly, very, very quickly. I'll show you another one that I did earlier in the previous example, and that one's below here where I had, and I'll open this one up. This one was uh, for someone who's teaching public speaking. And the whole idea on this one is one of the teachable moments. This is platform skills, for example, is we've got a person that's up on stage and it's the proper use, or I think they called it, um, uh, it was uh, body posture or something along one of the tools or ideas that came up for it. So this one is about a proper use, improper use of how to use the arms and positioning of the appendages in this case when you're up presenting. So I'll play this one again. We've got someone, big arms all over the place on top of their head, and then the other person that is basically looking at the audience and focusing it. And on this one, I had a prompt. And again, I'll put these there. So modern conference stage, large presentation screen, uh, split screen, left side professional female speaker in dark business suit stands at center, makes one confident gesture, and then someone else doing a whole bunch of them. So there's just two examples, and you saw how quickly that happened. Where I just got a simple prompt, 
and I got a result on it. Is it perfect yet? No. Is it five seconds only? Yes. Can you string these together? Yeah, and here's the neat secret right now. See, they thought of this already. If I go take a look here, and I'm opening this one, I think it's here. Yeah, there we go. So if we look, and let me see if I can get this a little bit bigger. See if I can get my, there we go. Uh, it's on the left-hand side here. Copy prompt, apply sound effects. There's no sound on this, so we could have narrated, but we now have sound effects. Add lip sync. So now we can start playing around and use the scripts that we've generated. And if we have a script, we can have the images that get created in the videos lip syncing. Just think about that for a second. If you were filming someone who is up on a presentation stage, do you go and do you have an audience, presentation stage, cameras, lights, everything? Or do you get good at creating a prompt like this or a description like this, break it into the sections that you need and have it as part of your teaching material, those teaching moments? Now, here's the ones that I really like. If you look here on the left-hand side, this one says, Create video continuation. Five second video, five second video, five second video. You've now got a 15 second video. So you can start getting creative with this, start putting them together, even if they're only five seconds. Now you can create longer ones if you need to. But for a lot of both visual teaching uh, ideas, that's something that you can use quickly and easily and not have to work too hard at it. Now, uh, I'll put a list together. I asked uh, Claude just to come up with some ideas. I'll open it up so that you can see it. But I just was playing around with Claude, you know, just trying to get some ideas on what would be some cool ways to actually use it. And some of the ones that uh, came up that were really, really interesting uh, is, you know, even the public speaker. Here was one that came up for the uh, public speaker. So here's some, uh, some business-related skills for that will work well for five seconds. Proper microphone positioning and handling. Effective use of presentation remotes and pointers. Managing the physical space during networking interactions. Reading body language cues. Setting up for virtual presentations. Camera idle, uh, lighting, handling interruptions. So those are ones that were sampled, just some soft skills for public speaking. Uh, contrast between closed posture and open posture. Uh, what's confident, what looks uh, um, unconfident. Um, what was the other one? Here's one. So for some examples of other ones, practical skills that you'd be able to use with these properly holding a kitchen knife, showing correct pinch grip, basic yoga poses or assignments, applying makeup techniques. That's the one that I used. Pruning house plants, kneading bread dough for proper consistency, back posture for deck work or uh, for desk work, camera focus techniques, specific knots, brush strokes for painting, these are all ideas that you can now get creative with and create videos just using a text description. So if you're interested in this, you know, make sure to go visit trainingsites.io forward slash join. Uh, hit the like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up on this video. I create one to two of these a day. And everything is about how do I create material that I can use to teach online. And it's about starting and building a growing education business, creating courses, and using AI to leverage it and be able to um, do this quickly and effectively with great content and actually build a business with it. So if this is something you're interested in, make sure to join up uh, to the campus. It's free. All of my content, all of my courses, all of the prompts are there. They're absolutely free for you to use. Uh, and I hope to see you inside because we're in a really great spot right now if you have something to teach and you're passionate about it. So my name is James, trainingsites.io. We'll stop it there. Uh, stay tuned comes the next video. I'm going to show you another neat trick on why you need to know this before other people start flooding the market with videos using these tools, but they aren't tied to a business model. So stay tuned for that one. I'll put it up next and uh, hope you enjoy all of these. Again, james, trainingsites.io. Take care.